Welcome to Around Melbourne. We're here with William from the Wing Chun Kung Fu Association. Hello, William. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Wing Chun Kung Fu is very unique. Uh, it was the only martial arts system developed by a woman. Yeah, yeah. Because it's developed by a woman, does not rely on brute force or speed and power, but it's the most scientific uh, martial art system in the world. Yeah, you know, when you when you relax, you have speed. You know, I set the world record in the Guinness Book of Records. You know, in uh, Massachusetts Institute mm -hmm. of Technology in America, mm -hmm. and uh, I was doing 8.3 punches per second. Every punch is equal to my body weight. Sure. You know, if you make a preparation to do a punch, you slow down yourself, right? You don't need preparations. You know, in Wing Chun because every muscle is coordinated with every other muscle. Mm. You know. yeah, is, that, is that evolved for the, for the reason that, that it was devised by a woman, whereby a certain muscle mass and structure from, that's typically male, mm. she had to work in another method? Yeah, well, uh, I think male, uh, usually they, they rely on brute force and mm. so on, you know. But uh, this system was developed uh, about 300 years ago. By, uh, by a Buddhist nun, and uh, and at that time they just want to uh, develop a system that overcome all the other systems, you know. So for a smaller person to defeat a bigger person, you have to move more smartly mm -hmm. and scientifically. I brought uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu to Australia in 1959. 1959. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the, how you were able to, to commence teaching in 73. What, what had to occur prior to you taking on board? Yeah, um, because uh, Chinese are uh, a, a very funny race, you know. They keep, they keep all their secrets, they create all their best things that in secret. I wasn't allowed to teach the whole system when my master passed away and I decided to teach uh, the whole system. And before that, uh, I was a uh, teacher and training partner for Bruce Lee. I introduced Bruce Lee to Wing Chun Kung Fu in 1954. That's very yeah. interesting. And what, and was, what was he like to work with? He actually taught me a few things. You know, Bruce was so interesting. He's so devoted and so committed. And every single minute, it's just like if I were talking to, if I were Bruce, I were talking to him. I would be doing something with his hand training with his hand, or even though he's eating with the right hand, he's training. It's annoying, but you know, and but that's how he was. And also, when we were training, Bruce would never come up and say, oh, uh, teach me another move, teach me the next move, you know. We would stay on the move for months until we mastered. So when Bruce went to America in 1959, he went to Seattle and he never lost a fight ever since he never lost a fight in his whole life you know mm -hmm. he defeated uh, four of the best uh, tournament fighters champions you know in in uh, in America and they all became his uh, students yeah and uh, so he's he's unique you know he mm -hmm. he would be you would be talking he would be pounding <laughs> on the floor or doing well, you certainly, you certainly, when, when you think of martial arts, mm, yeah. it's not long before yeah. Bruce Lee comes into the conversation, yeah. most people. But what's interesting, taking it from there, is that some people's perception of martial arts is that it's, it's a young man that like to knock about mm. and so forth, which mm. is far from the truth. It's, mm. it's, especially in today's time, it's, it's applicable yeah. to so many things that I understand you run yeah. self-defense classes for women. Yeah. Health and fitness this comes first, right? I was uh, telling people that when they come up to inquire, I say, look, you buy a new car, even you buy a Mercedes Benz. In 15 years, you have to change it because it's getting old, right? But you learn Wing Chun Kung Fu, it will benefit you till you're 85, even 90 years old because all the exercise you do on the left side, you do on the right side, so your body is balanced. You do on the front, you do on the back, and upper part and lower part. 
so uh, so the body balance the body is healthy and also we use two arm at the same time you know we, we block and punch at the same time not like a block and mm. a punch so you use two sides of the brain at the same time your students what's their background what are they being in the oh, yeah, of yeah. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, they, we have a lot of the you know uni student we have a lot of uh, successful business people and a lot of girls that uh, you know uh, working business girl mm. you know and um, uh, see because uh, martial art uh, I've been here since 1973 and it's probably the toughest uh, uh, business to be in because uh, uh, you know people can go down to the gym and mm -hmm. you know they think oh it's the same thing and also there's no uh, no government accreditations, you know, anyone that had a few years training and then they were, oh, so they, 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 they just stuff. open the school, oh, okay. they don't even have to have training. But Wing Chun is unique, you know, uh, the fighting strategy is this, that um, you only watch one point of the other person, you know, in fact, you mm. watch the elbow. And you, once you control the elbow, you go to the blind side, you win for sure, right? Uh, I will demonstrate to you, right? For a straight punch, the elbow move, move about this long, right? And the punch move about, so the elbow is moving about two and a half times slower than the fist. And further away from mm. your eye, you can see. For a swinging round punch, the elbow is moving at least four times slower than the fist. Mm. And it's, you know, so the, the leverage, if you block on the elbow, the leverage is, uh, you know, the leverage of the elbow is very short. Mm. And you're much stronger than the other person. Yes, sir. So, so, you know, it's, it's all scientific, you know. Well, thank you for joining us on Around Melbourne. Thank you. Talking about your academy.